hoo-hoo. I never told you why I greet you with hoo-hoo. That's the slang German gamer girls use to greet their guildmates in the guild chat. It was pretty common in my time. Yeah, in my time. Of World of Warcraft gaming. <laughs> Who it is? <laughs> this week, it was a pretty regular week. I've done a long hike with friends and wrote a lot and wrote some chapters. I'm pretty looking forward to the reactions. I made some cool art for it, um, but it would spoil the chapters, so I show it to you another time. And I worked on the art for another companion video. The class system of my story is a bit, um, let's call it German. <laughs> we have um, German tabletop roleplay games. And um, if you contrast the German games with the, the um, American or French games, um, they are a lot more complicated, more stats, more abilities, more skills. Um, complicated, more complicated ways to roll dice. The most popular game was in the past Das Schwarze Auge. I don't know if it's the Black Eye, the translation, because, yeah, colors are very uh, a fascinating topic in languages. So, um, a Black Eye in English is if uh, somebody hits you and you uh, get a mark on uh, your around your eye, swollen, flash, discolored flash. So in German, a black eye is not this thing. In German, um, we call it a blue eye. And I asked some of my multinational colleagues, and the color description for this kind of Damage is all over the place. I heard a violet, a violet eye. What language was this? I think Polish. But we call this kind of eye by a flower name as well. And Feilchen. I don't know the translation for Feilchen. I write it down. Um, I look it up. And they used the same flower for it, even though um, they used a different color. But uh, Feilchen came in blue and dark blue and uh, violet, so that's uh, all right, I guess. The most fa fascinating color is blue, because when I say I'm feeling blue today, in English it means... Oh, I'm a bit depressed today, I'm a bit sad. If you say it in German, it means you are drunk. If, it's, if you say it in Russian, it means you are gay. <laughs> so you've got a whole world of misunderstandings in the world of colors. I think that's great. I ask a lot more people. I ask Romanians, uh, Turkish, French. The French one said that they turn blue in the, fra in the face from rage. So um, I think in German it's red. And I believe I heard purple as well. Maybe it's purple in English, I'm not so sure. So uh, skin colors are pretty interesting as well. <laughs> uh, green, of course, is an amazing color as well. In some um, cultures, the color green is associated with envy, um, in German, for example. But I think in other um, cultures, 
The color of envy is yellow. Sorry for rambling about colors. If you are from language, territory or culture I haven't mentioned and you knew some proverbs or the idioms with blue, I'm very interested in it. Please leave a comment in the description because blue, let's be honest, is the most amazing color <laughs> for idioms. For next week I have nothing special planned. I would love to do another tag, an author tag or a book uh, tag, so please attack me. Uh, attack me. Be nice to me and attack me. Yeah, I think um, that might be it for today. So have a nice week and bye-bye. Um,